Hello and welcome to Ladder Splendors. I'm coming again today regarding the word from the Lord from the last video that I made on the coronavirus, what God had asked us to do regarding uh, getting this thing out of our society, out of the world. And so if you recall on the last video, the word from the Lord was to use the censors and take uh, the censors as David did and as Moses instructed Aaron uh, to do when there was a plague among the people. And so when they did this, God had mercy and um, they made their peace offering with the Lord and he had mercy on them and halted the dying and the plague. And so I said in the last video that I was going to purchase uh, the necessary sensor in order to uh, begin to do this myself. And I have ordered it and I just wanted to update you on what to get or what you could possibly get or what it should look like and the items that you need to purchase with it. So the first thing is, of course, I have the sensor that you could use in the church environment. It's, it's kind of big as you can see. Um, and it's, it's got some weight to it. So the top of it right here comes off. Uh, these chains won't, they won't break, I promise you. Well, hopefully not. And as you can see on the inside, there's a tray on this one. They have different kinds. And in this tray right here, you would put... lot of chains. You would put a charcoal. And so this charcoal, this side up, the little bowl side, side up, indented part, and you would place the charcoal, heat it into uh, the sensor bowl. And so some people, when they heat them, they... Um, They use a lighter and they do this. I personally, let's see if I can show you this. See that uh, sparks, the sparks that are going up? I personally prefer not to have sparks coming up around me. So what I saw on one video was that um, there was a way to just set that right onto your burner and when you did that, like the, the stove burner, uh, electric stoves have them. I think it might work okay if you uh, had a little pan and you set it in the pan to heat it up. If you don't have a an, an eye, you know, with the round wires on there for your burner, you probably want to just go ahead and hold it and light it with the lighter because I don't know if it would work on the flat stoves or not. Um, the other thing is I wanted to mention that I don't, I think that if you have a gas stove, it might work to hold this, hold it in one of these and over the gas stove, that might work okay also. So the one that I did get, uh, I got the big one and I got a small personal one. And this one has uh, coal in it already that's been heated along with the sand at the bottom, and it has a top that goes on to it. I wanted to show you what comes, uh, what you put in there. First of all, you have a resin, and I purchased this resin. I'll give you the prices on them, what I got, what I paid for them. And it came in a little bag like this. I poured it into the bowl. The big, uh, the big sensor that I showed you, this little bowl and spoon come with it as a set. So if you go on Amazon and look for it, look for the one that has the set. And this has all of the resins, all of the spices that are required uh, to make uh, the, the incense. So you can put, I'm telling you, it, it when it gets lighting, when it gets lit, it really goes. This right here, if you just want uh, to do a personal session, that's too much. You only need two, uh, two of these. So something like this is, is plenty. 
um, I also purchased years ago, I think it was 2011, uh, some incense that came in uh, the sand form and they become a little uh, rock hard now and I can use those still. Uh, it works just the same. I'm gonna use the resin because it seems to be really popular. I'm only gonna use two and uh, put it on here so that you can see um, how that would work. You can see it's starting to smoke up. So I'll put the top on it, hot. And you can set this over away from uh, your face and uh, the, so that the smoke doesn't get up into your throat and set this over, but you would go around and you would take this back and forth and you would offer up the prayer of sacrifice before the Lord and ask the Lord for mercy and for peace among the people and to halt the plague. You would just do this and worship God and give him praise and tell him how much you love him. And this is all that is required, this prayer right here. And so I would set it over uh, along the side there so that it doesn't uh, overcome you with the smoke. Now, the, the uh, priests who use this in the Catholic Church, that's a lot of, they get that every time they use it, a lot more smoke than that. And this one right here, uh, the bigger one, they take it, and if you were using a larger one, let me just get it ready. You can see there's a lot of chain to this. This it has four chains, three chains hold up the top and one chain pulls up the center. So if it's hot, you can add more incense to it. And you would just take it along when it's smoking uh, your hand higher up on the chain, of course, and you would just swing it. Uh, like this. So basically, that's what it's required. As you can see, this incense is still going. It doesn't take very much. When I bought this one, I was a little bit concerned that it would tip over on the side of the handle, but it doesn't. And um, I wanted to show you the inside, so don't be surprised if you see the resin um, burns uh, the inside a little bit. That's okay. It only lasts a few minutes, actually, so it's not bad, but you don't want to touch any part of the metal here once it, uh, once it gets started because it gets hot, uh, very hot, uh, too hot, too hot to touch. And so that's basically what I wanted to show you. I also wanted to share with you the oil. When you go to Exodus 30, it talks about the incense, but it also talks about the oil. The incense was used to go out and purify, offer up an offering before the Lord, a smoke offering, a peace offering, a mercy offering before the Lord. The oil was used to anoint the priests and uh, this oil, uh, the oil in Exodus 30 that Moses made, had made up for the anointing oil for the priests, um, he poured this oil over onto um, Aaron and his sons. Now, if you recall, Aaron's sons who were in charge of uh, putting together the holy incense and making the sacrifices before the Lord, something went wrong. They didn't, they didn't get it just right. And God was very displeased. So what, what happened to them was they lost their lives. They were uh, burnt up in the fire on the altar. And that was pretty sad. It, I remember first reading that as a young person and, and it just threw me for a loop a little bit. I just I just couldn't believe it, but it taught me something. God wants perfection when it comes to the things that he instructs us to do. So I'm saying this for you to be very careful to uh, to offer the incense properly. So read Exodus 30 
where it talks about the incense. Read the examples of David. Read the example of Moses sending Aaron out among the people. And then pray and ask God uh, for favor in offering the incense and making the anointing oils. And none of these are supposed to be used. This, this incense still has a little smoke in it. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Hallelujah. Mm. Wow, just felt that. Um, but the oil was not supposed to be used for perfume, nor was the incense to be used for perfume. So some of you who like to meditate with incense and, and so forth, don't do that with this incense and this oil. Don't use it. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to use it for perfume um, or cologne, but anyway, it's not for that. But the oil... Um, was made up, the incense was made up of four parts, four different spices, including frankincense and uh, three sweet spices. They're all defined in, um, in the Bible. And so Moses, the Lord said unto Moses, I'm reading 30 and 34, take unto these sweet spices, statch, on, onacha, galbanum, and with it, pure frankincense and each shall there be a like weight that's king james version they do have other translations that tell you the modern day names for some of these and um a like weight and so that's what's in this little pouch right here um those four spices mixed together equally and so if you were going to mix your own you would get uh, the portions you would portion out or weigh one ounce or whatever you're going to use. If you use one ounce uh, in your in on for one, you use one ounce for it for each one, and so that would be four ounces total uh, weight for the spices or whatever half ounce or whatever you would use, and then you would you would put it into a bowl like this. And use, use a little separate spoon. Put everything aside that you use for these items. Don't mix them in with, with all the other stuff in the household or in the church area. This is special unto the Lord. And so I wanted to just share with you the oil. This is special oil. This is not to go on uh, the table in front of the church for everybody to handle. You know, in some churches, everybody can pick the oil up and go around and use it and some of them, you know, aren't ordained for that. You need to anoint your ministers with this oil. Uh, and head to toe, you know the routine. And um, put this up. And uh, dedication and rededication and so forth. Use this oil for that. But for the regular um, members, you know, I have a separate oil. That if somebody needs prayer or whatever, I would use that oil that I have prayed over. And so um, you're probably thinking, well, what gives me the right to do it? Well, I was um, I was um, dedicated as a bishop in the year 2001. It's been a good while ago, and um, I don't make a big deal of it, but I was ordained before that. Uh, in the 80s, my first ordination, 1980s, mid-80s, I believe. And so if you um, if you can't accept that, or if you can accept it, when I became a minister or a pastor, ordained pastor, God began to work with me and deal with me on the things that pleased him in the church environment. And I've taken a lot of heat for it through the years because I do have a strict manner, but he began to deal with me. This is what I want, and this is what I don't want. And in the tape before this one, he instructed us. He said he did not give the saints permission to stop using the incense and the oils. And so that's why he instructed me to do this video, uh, the, vid the first video to this one, and say, go back out to the people with the incense. Go out. Um, into your church environment so that <clears throat> this plague does not take your people. And so we're praying for that. I don't know if you 
have had a problem with the plague in your church yet, I pray that you don't because it's a horrible thing. But uh, I wanted to also give you what I paid for it. I mentioned that I would give you the prices on them. <clears throat> so the, the incense burner that I used today to demonstrate how it works, this was about $42, $42 and some change. And the brass bolt, this big one here, with all the chains and so forth and the accompanying uh, resin boat where you would put your little incense in those two together and i don't think you can buy them separately uh on amazon you might be able to get them separately somewhere else um i'm not sure uh the brass boat together that was 90 dollars uh, the resin, I got two of these. Uh, the resin, uh, this is two ounces here. And so I got four ounces total. That was $15. Now I got this charcoal box here. This is from Three Kings. Some of you may recognize this um, emblem here, right here. And in the box, you can see I have quite a few, I think it's 10 uh, of these charcoal uh, discs. I call them charcoal discs. And in, within each package, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. So that's 10 times 10, you know, that's 100 This That'll give you 100 times that you can uh, use incense. That should be more than enough for a year or two, maybe, uh, at least uh, six months to a year, depending on how often you do this. You, I don't think you have to do it that often, but you just open this up. And as I spoke of before, there's there are the discs inside. And so the, the uh, charcoal box itself, that whole box was $14. And those, all of this that I've just shown you, with the exception of the oils, I got on Amazon recently, just in the last two weeks. Now, this incense here came from another company. I believe this company is in the state of Washington somewhere. And here's a little tag that came with it. It came in a little box like this. That's one little piece of it. Very nicely wrapped. Um, they had this wrapped around it. And as you can see, they labeled what it was. Holy incense. And on the back, I sent a note and asked them if they were still in business so that I could put the link below. I'll put the link to what I have, uh, or if you want to just get the phone number off of here, uh, you can pause your video. I don't think that that's... Okay. 866-457-3824. www.victory-incinc.us. So anyway, I will, um, once they, once they um, get in touch with me, I'll try to add the link below. All right, and so that incense right there for that little bag was $35. Now remember, they mixed the incense, four different spices together. And I bought that back in, I think, 2011. So the prices could be different now. Um, and for the oil, I bought from the same place, and the oil came in a little box like this. And you can see the, the four oils that I use right here in this little box. Each of them, they were all wrapped up very nicely. Uh, and each of the oils were between 12 to $13, but the myrrh, which was one of the oils that was needed, was $22, and this is by the ounce, I believe. 
And so in addition to that, you would use your carrier oil, which is, you can use uh, olive oil. I believe the Bible says the olive oil in chapter 30. I believe it says a hen, a hen of olive oil. Uh, so they made a lot of it because they had a lot of priests. And I got a 10% discount on it. So that's what I wanted to update you on, that I did get those uh, purchased and they, they arrived. And I have been offering the incense before the Lord. And hallelujah, I believe it is acceptable. You know that song, um, The Storm is Passing Over? Uh, my sister called me one day and said, you know, I heard the storm is passing over and I kind of forgot about it. And one day I woke up and the song was just going in my spirit and I've been hearing it pretty much every day since then. And so I've been offering the incense to the Lord, listening to the Detroit Mass Choir on YouTube, seeing the storm is passing over. They really do a great job and, um, and anointing myself with the holy oil because I'm a priest before the Lord. I'm a spokesperson on behalf of the Lord. Whatever he wants, if he tells me to do it, it's my responsibility to do it. And I'm taking my holy communion. Amen. And so I want to thank you for watching. I hope that you've gotten something out of this video. And I know it's a lot to take in, but uh, pray and ask God, what would he have you to do regarding the holy incense and the holy oils? And be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.